Good morning, friends. I have two fun stories for you. This one's called Hurry Santa. It was Christmas Eve, Santa's busiest time of year, but Santa was fast asleep, snoring under his blanket. Wake up, squeaked Santa's little mouse, tugging at his beard. Hurry, Santa, you can't be late tonight. Ouch, cried Santa, sitting up and rubbing his chin. Goodness, this clock isn't right. The alarm didn't go off. I overslept. Santa leapt, leaped out of bed and began pulling up on his clothes. He was in such a hurry, he put both feet in one pants leg and fell fat on his face. Hurry, Santa, mailed the cat. You can't be late tonight. No, I can't, agreed Santa, getting up. I can't be late to deliver the presents. When he finally was dressed, Santa hurried outside to his sleigh. He picked up the harnesses and tried to put on the reindeer. But the reindeer, where were they? Oh no, cried Santa, where can they be? The reindeer are loose in the woods, called the fox. You'd better catch them before they wander off. Hurry, Santa, you can't be late tonight. No, I can't, agreed Santa, running through the trees. Deep in the woods, some reindeer were having a snowball fight. Ah, shouted Santa as a snowball hit him in the face. Hurry, Santa, hooted. You don't have time to play in the snow. But I was playing, said Santa. I wasn't playing, said Santa. He searched all over for the other reindeer, but there were no place to be found. I hope you can pull the sleigh by yourselves, he said. Come on, we've got work to do. At last, Santa took off, steering the sleigh towards the moon. Go, reindeer, go, he shouted. We can't be late tonight. And around the world, they flew, delivering their presents. Down again, called Santa, turning the sleigh towards the farm. Hurry, Santa, answered the reindeer. We're miles away, and the night is almost over. I'm doing my best, boomed Santa, flicking the reins. Before he knew what was happening, the reindeer quickened their pace. Whoa, cried Santa. But it was too late. They landed with a bump, and the sleigh skidded across the snow. Oh, dear, cried Santa. Crash, the sleigh had gotten stuck in a giant snowdrift. Santa scrambled to his feet and rubbed his bruised bottom. Nothing broken, he said, but we must hurry. When the reindeer had untangled themselves, they tried to dig out their sleigh. They tugged and they pulled and they pushed as hard as they could. But the sleigh was completely stuck in the snow. It's no use, said the reindeer. We can't move the sleigh on our own. We must keep trying, said Santa. The sky is getting lighter and we're running out of time. Suddenly, Santa heard a loud neigh trotting towards them with a very large horse. Hurry, Santa, said she neighed. You've got this. You've got presents to deliver. I'll give you, I'll help you move your sleigh. So they all pulled together, even Santa's little mouse. But it was no good. The sleigh was stuck. Hurry, Santa, called the rooster from the barnyard. It's nearly morning. I'm trying to hurry, puffed Santa. One more pull, everybody. At last, the sleigh began to move. And Santa tumbled backwards and cheering loudly. Hooray, Santa called the animals. The sun's rising. You've got to finish your rounds before the children wake up. Yes, agreed Santa. It's nearly Christmas Day. It was a close call, but by dawn, dawn, the Santa had managed to deliver every present. Finally, he and the reindeer arrived back to the North Pole. We did it, yawned Santa. Who was it? He stopped talking and started stared at his in his sack at dismay. Oh no, how awful, he cried. I've forgotten someone. Then Santa saw that all the animals were laughing at him. That present's for you, said the reindeer. It's from all of us. Hurry, Santa, said a little mouse. You should open your presents. It's Christmas Day. Yes, I should, chuckled Santa. Now I wonder what it is. Look, it was a new alarm clock. that one. I also have the little critters. Tis the night before Christmas. Tis the night before Christmas when all through the house not a critter was stored. Not even a mouse. 
The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that Santa Claus would soon be there. We were nestled all snug in our beds while visions of sugar palms danced in our heads. And Mama in her handkerchief and Dad in his cap had settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore out, opened the shutters, and threw up my sash. What was to my wondering eyes should appear, but an old-fashioned sleigh with eight prancing reindeer, with an old driver so lovely, lively and quick, I knew in that moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his reindeer, they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, come on, come Cupid, come Con come Comet, on Donner and Listen. So up to the housetop the reindeer flew with the sleigh full of toys and Santa Claus too. And then in a twinkle I heard on the roof the prancing and prying of each little hoof as I draw my head and t was turning around down the chimney Santa Claus was bound. He was dressed all in fur from head to his foot and his clothes were all turnus with ash and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler opening his pack. His eyes, oh how they twinkled, his dimple how merry, his cheeks were like roses, and his nose like a cherry. His commercial mouth was drawn like a bow, and the beard in his chin as white as snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump and joyful old elf. He laughed when he saw when I saw him in spite of myself. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings. Then he turned with L and laying all his fingers on his side his nose and giving a nod and up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh to give his team a whistle and away they all flew down of, the, of a tissel. But I heard him explain as he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. That will be the last story you will get until January, or yeah, January 4th. I hope you guys all have enjoyed my stories. I will be back to read some more then. <laughs>